Your tracks can get really boring when they just use basic effect samples like this. Let's talk about how to make your transitions more professional. When your track flows together with better transitions, it can be the difference between someone listening to your full track on Spotify or someone hitting the dreaded skip button. Because much like watch time here on YouTube, Listening time does matter a lot on Spotify to help your track grow. And the problem with just throwing a bunch of effects on a transition is it doesn't really help the track move forward in a musical way, and it sounds kind of cheesy. So let's go over four things you can do instead of using effect samples to make your transition sound a lot better. Then at the end, I'll tell you one trick that ties it all together. And we'll just be working on the transition from the verse to the buildup. easiest things to do is add reverb and delay throws. In this case, I'm gonna do it on the vocals because they're the main sound in the verse, but you can do this on any sound. So I find the easiest way to do this is just to duplicate the track and then copy down the part of the vocal that you wanna use. I love your loving. And doing it this way allows you to easily adjust exactly what words you want the reverb and delay throws on. So in this case, I'm gonna cut it off right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a delay here at 100% wet. And you can mess around with what kind of delay you want, but in this case, I'm gonna want a really long dotted eighth note delay. Then after that delay, I'm gonna add an EQ to take out the lows. I think I want to take out the word your and just have the delay on lovin and that's what's good about doing it this way I can just cut out the first word but let's also add a big reverb throw so all I'm going to do is just duplicate the delay throw I just made and copy down the audio and then I'll replace that delay with a reverb instead I'm going to go into the presets here and use this amazing vocal preset I like a lot I'm going to crank up that decay time and let's add an EQ after that too to shape the sound. Then this is kind of an extra step, but let's send both of those delay and reverb throws we just made to a new bus. And on that bus, I've added a compressor so I can sidechain the throws to the main vocal signal. Love your love. That way those throws just dip down a few dBs when the main vocal is playing, just makes everything a little cleaner. So I think I could also add a reverb and delay throw to the last clap sample before the transition. So I'm just gonna take that last clap and separate it to a new track. Then on that new track, I'll just add a really big reverb and delay. So in the full track, here's what that sounds like. That brings me to the next thing you can do to make better transitions, which is to add reverses. In this case, I'm gonna reverse the clap. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna bounce this clap to audio. Then I'm just gonna take the sample and reverse it. Then let's add some reverb to that at 100% wet. But it's good to mess around with the settings a little bit. I like to use this chamber setting, move down the pre-delay and the attack. Sounds a little cleaner to me. So now I have to take that sample and just bounce it to audio again. And now I'll reverse that sample. But I wanna take out that part at the end and I'll add a little fade out there so it's a little smoother. And I'm gonna line that up with our last clap hit there. I love your love. I'm sure a lot of you guys already knew how to do that, but I feel like reverses can be used really tastefully in transition. So it's something to always keep in mind. Now the third thing you can do is add synth automation. So let's take the bass line. So nothing's really changing with the bass except adding a little filter automation to make the buildup have less sub bass. So let's add some more movement here. So I've opened up my synth and I'm just gonna drag one of these macro controls over to the sustain of the envelope. 
Then I'm going to grab this other macro control and bring it to this formant filter mix, which can sound really cool if I automate it. So now I just need to go into my automation tracks and draw some automation in. So I've just added some movement there to the sustain. Let's try with that formant filter. Now that sounds awesome, but I think we can actually make it even cooler. What I'm gonna do is send the bass to a new bus, and on that bus, I'm gonna put a ping pong delay. Then I can just automate the amount of that ping pong delay throughout this transition here. So let's hear what that sounds like in the track. So this step does completely depend on your song and what sounds you're using, but the key is to use automation to add more movement into the transition using the sounds you already have. You can just mess around until you find something that sounds cool. So everything I've done so far is just using sounds that were already in the project. But the fourth and final thing I can do is to add a synth fill. So instead of using a drum fill or adding effects to the transition, you can use a synth sound instead. In this case, I'm gonna use a big atmospheric sound from one of my serum packs. You can get my sounds at bigzsounds.com, by the way. But I'm just gonna pitch bend the sound up. And let's just add a load of reverb to it. This just adds some nice ear candy and lets the listener know we're transitioning into the next section. I love your love. And for the synth fill, you could mess around with any sound. Like I could try out a reverse chord sound. So those are some things that can help your transitions, but there's really just one thing that ties them all together. What I've done in my head is really split up the track into its main parts, vocals, drums, bass and synths, and atmosphere. Notice how I did something to each of those main categories. For the vocals, I added the reverb and delay throws. For the drums, I added that reverse on the clap, and then the reverb and delay throw on the same clap. For the bass, I added some movement with automation. Then I filled out the atmosphere with the synth fill. So in your head, just break your track into the main parts and see if you can do a little something to each one to help out the transition. Thanks for watching. Peace. Yeah.